this video, I'm going to do a mukbang and also going to be engaging with you guys um, in the process while eating some seafood and enjoying a little uh, shirt tip or like on the side. So the conversation that we are going to talk about today is based around relationships. So I've asked multiple people to send their um, relationship questions to me and I would decide you know, based off the options that I gave them, which questions I will be answering in this today's video. So, um, getting right into it, the first question that I received was, how do you go about disagreements and do you cave in uh, in regards to the disagreement? So, when it comes to agreeing to disagree, I definitely think it's important to listen to understand versus listening to respond and the reason why i say that because if you listen to respond you open up the door for an argument to take place if you listen to understand then you're allowing yourself to grow stronger not only within yourself but the person that you have the conversation with because it's very important to you know, sit there and kind of listen to the person as they're venting to you about whatever disagreement that she possibly are having um, with one another. And the second question, um, which is the part two to that question, do you cave in? Um, yeah, it pretty much just it pretty much depends on the situation. Um, I definitely don't think you should cave in. I definitely feel like if it's one of those disagreements where it's constantly happening over and over again, then you definitely don't want to cave in. You kind of just, just want to isolate yourself from the situation because if you constantly cave in into something, you're showing people that you're vulnerable and easy and you don't want to do that. You want to be taken seriously when it comes to things, you know, to that nature, especially like a relationship. So definitely don't cave in, just listen to respond to understand versus trying to listen to respond and you have a better connection or a better relationship with your partner or just anybody in general that you have a close connection with. So, so moving on to the next question. The next question is actually a question that I came up with myself. Um, why do people pretend to be faithful in relationships? And I got a lot of you know feedback in regards to that question so my answer is basically has to do with feelings because you have a lot of people who what i like to call like to live a double life meaning that they have you know this main person that they constantly are around but behind closed doors they have someone on the side just in case things go left you know with their main person and i feel like they constantly open up the door for a constant drama and arguments take place which it does and whatnot and that's a speaking from a personal situation because why put yourself in a situation where you open up the door for drama you know what i mean so definitely when you're in a relationship like be sure if you want to be in a relationship with that person don't be in a relationship you know just because or just for the heck of it like no have a reason to be in a relationship with somebody like if you have to live